my life is not all about language learning. Chazen. Don't want to burn myself out. Timer is up. Don't have that much of time. I love this podcast so much. Practicing my pronunciation. Must be sit down, stand to do. Multitasking. Tick off another box. Got to solve some of this stuff. Guys, so today I invite you to spend a day with me, so I can share with you how I learn multiple languages at the same time. Well, my main focus are Arabic and Spanish right now. However, I'm also trying to maintain my proficiency and also to improve my English, Japanese, and French. So, come with me, okay? So every day starts with notion. Okay, as you can see, I have quite many things to do today. So the thing is, I will always first write out the things that I need to do that day, and later I try to squeeze time for language learning. My life is not all about language learning, and I don't wanna, you know, be consumed by language learning. So that's what I usually do. And in the morning, I'm first gonna put like um thirty minutes, um Arabic. Textbook time, and in the afternoon I'm gonna put another thirty minutes, but this time Spanish. And I think I'm today I'm more in the mood of doing shadowing practice, so let's do that. If you've already watched my previous video about how I built my language learning plan, then you know I based all of my decisions on that day of what I'm going to do that day. You know, with language based on my moods. So that's what I do for Arabic and Spanish, which are two languages I'm focused on. I will make sure that I wouldn't spend more than an hour, yeah, sometimes one and a half, on them because I simply just don't want to burn myself out, and I also don't have that much of time. So I will put one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Each time when I'm studying, then I put a timer on actually. So if the time is up, then I'm done. You know, I cannot touch that thing again. And now I'm gonna squeeze more like passive learning into that. The two that I wrote just now are more like active learning. Actually, you know, focus on them while doing them. However, now I'm gonna squeeze in some of the passive learning. For example, when I'm scripting this week's podcast episode, I'm gonna listen、um, to Spanish podcast. So the Thing is, the good thing about being a beginner of in a language is that because you still don't understand the majority of what people said inside, so you can be a good background music. That's <laughs> what I do, and when I'm replying to YouTube comments, that's also listen to Spanish podcast. When I'm doing abs workout, I'm going to listen to French. Enjoy phonics. I really like her、um, videos, like Mahi. When I'm reading an English book, I'm gonna read out loud, so I can at the same time practicing my pronunciation in English. So now we have French, we have English, and then when I'm handing up the laundry, I also wanna listen to French. So I'm gonna listen to French, but right now it's like Hugo de Crypt. Um, and okay, when I'm going out with lunch、um, with my mom and auntie, I couldn't really put anything. And in the afternoon, when, my, when I'm editing old videos and cars, because this one I don't really need any brain power, so I would put like Arabic, like listen to Arabic vlog. Okay, so just like it's a video, but I use it more like a background, you know, audio thing. I listen to them, and when I'm brainstorming videos ideas, this one no, I need to like be 100% focused on that, and this one is also not something that I can put. Oh, okay. When I'm researching for working holiday visa, I'm going to listen to Japanese. So as you can see, for the languages, I'm like merely trying to maintain my proficiency and try to improve it. A little bit. I wouldn't really spend like time, 100% time on them. I do them more of like you know multitasking. Like I do other things while listening to that languages. That's what I do because yes, again, we simply don't have that much of time in a day. We only have 24 hours, and we need to sleep for eight hours, and yeah, you know that. And for dinner, I already write it out. For dinner, I'm gonna watch Japanese drama with subtitles. Okay, so great. I already have all the languages up, and that's. My plan. So right now I'm going to hand up the laundry while listening to Ugo Decrypt podcast episode.
Au passage, information très importante, cette vidéo a été tournée avant que l'on apprenne qu'il y a eu une fusillade à Moscou et alors que le gouvernement russe évoque un attentat terroriste. Alors au moment où j'enregistre ce mot, on a extrêmement peu d'informations puisque l'information vient de nous parvenir, si ce n'est que le bilan humain est déjà très très lourd. La diplomatie russe a dénoncé un attentat terroriste ah sanglant. Les pompes... It always feels so nice when you take off the boxes on your to-do list. So, what I'm going to do now is to study my Arabic textbook for 30 minutes. So, timer, timer is up. Sura. Sura. Hey. Khazana. Khazana. Yeah, I can take off another checkbox. So, the next thing that I'm going to do right now is to script this week podcast episode and I'm gonna do it while listening to Spanish podcast. I love this podcast so much because I don't know like the voice of these two hosts are just so soothing so it's like a perfect background sound when I'm like working. Pero irónicamente nunca en España. Mm -hmm. Y hemos estado... Ok, I finished part of my script and I need to move on to another thing because I'm running out of time. But now, take off another box. Yes. And next, I'm going to read a little bit of my book while reading out loud in English. I always love to read what I'm reading out loud when I want to practice my English pronunciation and also trying to focus because by reading out loud it helps a lot in terms of letting you to focus on what you are reading. This is the book that I'm going to read right now. Despite the odds stacked against her, this young woman would eventually become one of the most successful and influential science fiction writers of her generation. whom she thought of her of as her powerful assertive outer ego. Okay, so now I'm going to do abs workout. And while doing it, I'm going to listen to Enjoy Phonics, Mahi's videos. I really like her videos. Let's do it. Bienvenue dans ma nouvelle maison. Les amis, ça fait super longtemps qu'on s'est pas retrouvé ici et euh, j'ai l'impression que à la fois il s'est écoulé une vie. Yes, I finally have one remaining task left in the morning, which is to reply to 10 of my YouTube comments. And I'm going to do that while listening to my Spanish podcast again. Es una palabra bastante nueva en el español. Bueno, es un, es un anglicismo, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I finished my last task in the morning. I just got back from my lunch and it took longer than I had expected. I thought it would be finished around like two o'clock, but then right now it's already three o'clock. So I'm gonna keep working on my next thing. So let me now starting to work on my, I'm gonna edit my old videos and screens like in cars. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to listen to Arabic vlog. And this is the Arabic vlog that I'm going to listen to. Like She is one of my favorite Arabic vloggers from Saudi, Saudi Arabia, Jenna. Ooh. So I'm going to work on my next task, which is to do Spanish shadowing practice for 30 minutes. And the video that I'm going to do today, first is this video, Tour of Barcelona Center. Bienvenidos, Bienvenidos a un nuevo, nuevo episodio, episodio de Super Easy Spanish. Spanish. Barcelona es una de las ciudades Barcelona es una de las ciudades más, más, visitadas, del mundo. más visitadas del mundo. Okay, so now I'm going to do something that will require 100% of focus from me. So I'm not gonna squeeze in any like language learning into it, like no background sounds of any languages, just like peaceful, okay? Like quiet. So I'll see you very, very soon. So now it's my dinner time and 
My dinner is only this one. <gasps> My orange just went away from me. It's okay. Three seconds, right? Three seconds. So the thing is, I'm doing intermittent fasting right now. So the portion of my diet just naturally became much smaller and I ate a lot during the lunchtime today. So that's all I'm gonna eat right now. And I'm going to watch Japanese drama with Japanese subtitles while eating my dinner. <laughs> And that's the end of today's video. I hope you find it helpful. And lastly, I just want to say that we all have like limited time in our day, 24 hours only. Sometimes it I feel like it's very hard to squeeze time for language learning. Not to say that if you want to learn multiple languages at the same time. However, I think it's still worth a try. Just try to squeeze time out and try to put your language learning into your daily routine to integrate and to put it, you know, just try to be creative. And I hope this video will give you some ideas of how you can maybe do that in your own way I would totally encourage you to do that and that's all thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye